Why, hello there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the rest of September 2021. In this reading, we're going to look at what's going on for you for the rest of the month. All right, so thank you for being here. And just a few announcements before we begin. Uh, the first thing is, is that you got to be careful of people pretending to be me and other tarot readers, okay? There is a ton of fake Instagram accounts who pretend to be me, who try to scam people into getting a reading, okay? So if someone messages you under my name saying, hey, it's the Autistic Mystic, do you want a reading? Just ignore them, okay? I am never, ever, ever gonna reach out to you and message you asking you if you want a reading, okay? I just don't do that. The only way, only way, is to click the link in the description box below and you can schedule a reading with me there, okay? Other than that, just ignore DMs and stuff like that, all right? Unfortunately, that's what's going on. Um, so with that being said, let's just jump right into your reading, Scorpio. All right, so let's look at some opportunities that you have for this month. I see a lot of stuff going on in the mental sphere, okay? So we have the Two of Swords, we have the Five of Swords, and we have the Seven of Swords in your opportunities for this month, all right? So first thing popping out to me is that you definitely have an opportunity to move away from some sort of deception, okay? So you see how this uh, this figure is literally like creeping away from this. The Seven of Swords is about moving away from something no longer serving you, and especially since the Five of Swords is right next to it, there's someone here in your reality, like a figure, who who may not be good for you, okay? Maybe it's a coworker, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a family member. I think the opportunity is to move away from them this month. And with the Two of Swords here, there's definitely something that you're, you may be closed down to an idea of something. I feel like the universe has been trying to tell you something, Scorpio, for a long time that you just have not been open to. And potentially it's that this person right here, this Five of Swords, some sort of energy in your life, this could even represent like, a job that really drains your energy. There's something here that you that you have to have the courage to look at. I think a lot of you guys are closed down to this. Some of you know what it is. Okay, so the opportunity is to move away from that this month, okay, with the Seven of Swords. Um, let's go ahead and clarify. Let's clarify this Seven of Swords. What do you guys need to move away from? Um, what is that opportunity? You know, the opportunity is to just definitely develop your mental mental clarity for the rest of September, okay? I would say, you know, you don't want to get overly identified with the mind, but right now, it seems like you have to use your brain a little bit, you know? Um, well, let's see. What does spirit have to say about this seven of swords here? Hmm. For Scorpio. All right. So to clarify the seven of <clears throat> swords, we have the silence card. I feel like what's coming through is you guys need to move into kind of like a state of peace, okay? So you have to find your center here. And whenever you can get it, you know, the silence card is all about a meditative state, right? Getting into the nothingness. Because when you're in, it's almost like you guys have, you're, you're, there's so many like, you know, all of your cards here are the swords, right? They're the mind. You guys are being like, you think you're overthinking a lot of stuff in your life. I think if you can sink into the stillness, okay, if you can move away, you can just find a meditative state, you'll be able to clearly recognize, number one, what it is you're blocking out, and then number two, who's really on your team and who's not. You know, the last reading I did, the Five of Swords also popped out for their opportunity. So... There is an opportunity here to kind of move away from some sort of destructive energy. For some of you, and there's a small percentage of the Scorpios, I feel like maybe you actually have to tap into this Five of Swords energy and just say, I'm going to be a little bit ruthless, okay, and say, um, you know, you have to be ruthless when it comes to moving away from something bad. You know, a lot of the empaths... You know, those of you who are drawn to a tarot reading, you guys are wonderful, super sensitive souls. And so sometimes like drawing boundaries, um, you know, it's not really good. And you know, the seven of swords next to the five of swords, you guys gotta be careful, all right? There's definitely a lot of like maybe theft, stealing, okay, in your reality. I hate to be oriented towards the negative, but that's just coming through. You guys gotta really check everyone in your reality. It doesn't mean that you have to be paranoid, Something coming through, though, is that whenever you see someone 
um, they, they th look at the mask that they're wearing, like look at the, the face that they present to society. If they really present a certain persona, you have to assume that the opposite qualities are actually true underneath the surface. Because a lot of times people just try to hide their true self with this mask. Okay, so you gotta be aware of that. Um, I also wanna clarify this too of swords. You know, what are you maybe closed down to? What are you not seeing? For some of you, I can tell you it's that there's someone in your life that's not good for you that maybe you're in a you're in a love relationship with them and it's hard for you to leave okay but you know maybe you have to have the strength to walk away once again but let's see what is this two of swords for the scorpios watching this video what is this about yeah so you're closed down to guilt Okay, um, the guilt card is clarifying the two of swords here. So I feel like a lot of you guys, you're not even entertaining the fact that um, you have to change your reality in some way because you know that if you change it, okay, if you walk away from something no longer serving you, you're going to feel guilty. So this is the underlying energy, the guilt, right? This is also a card of the mind. You guys are really stuck in your head here. Um, realize somewhere some some way someone is stuck in a head trip you're overthinking your life listen if i want to go over here there's no reason to feel guilty about it it's the same thing with your life if someone is no longer serving you scorpio because that's what i sense is going on don't feel guilty about walking away okay and don't feel guilty there's something here also about guilt about uncovering secrets i think a lot of you guys you're in like a job environment or something where there's a lot of people in your life that just they're they're in the matrix they just do what they're told they're kind of in this like this rat race and you're you're feeling like i know that i have so much to let in the universe is trying to let in stuff to me but if i let it in that's going to make me different from the people around me and so there's this is underlying right this is all subconscious stuff so just be aware of that this month scorpio okay there's a lot of opportunity to really dive deep into your shadow and just, you know, don't put up with deception BS. You know, there's a lot of, this is, this is intense energy, I'm not gonna lie. Then let's look at the challenges that you have this month. The challenge for you this month, for the rest of September, you have the Page of Cups, you have the King of Cups, and then you have the Hermit Energy. So right off the bat, you know, it's almost going to be challenging for you guys to move into more of a peaceful state. I think some of you guys, Scorpio, you've gotten so used to the chaos or just like maybe it's waking up, checking your phone. You're in this mental state where it's overstimulation, right? So moving into this hermit energy of, of silence, right? Stillness. Whoop, I'm back, Scorpio. Sorry about that. My iPhone storage is full. Okay, let's get back into your reading. Sorry about that. Okay, so... You know, your challenge is it's almost, it seems like it's going to be hard for you to sink into a peaceful state here. Okay, with the Hermit, I feel like you guys, you've been so mentally stimulated for so long. You know, two of swords, you know, all this mental energy that moving into the Hermit energy, right? Going into that silence card that we pulled out, it's going to feel so foreign to you that it's going to be challenging to do. But this is what you, I feel like, really have to do if you want to see your life clearly and take a bird's eye view. Many times, you know, it's not about pouring in more information. It's about slipping into the present moment and having clarity. You know, it's like when you're in, when you're in a lake, right? You have all this water energy right now. When you're in a lake, right, and, and the water's moving all over the place, you have to wait for the waters to settle, right, for the mud to sink down to the, to the bottom of the lake, then you can see everything clearly. So your challenge is this month, Scorpio, um, is definitely tapping into that, the opposite of that, or, you know, a different energy from that, from all that air, that mental craziness going on with your opportunity. Um, so we have the page of, sor the page of cups here, rather, and we have the king of cups you guys might be dealing with people in your life also that represents uh these two cards right here for a lot of you though i do feel like these these represent you right these represent aspects of your own um your own inner state your own personality spectrum archetypes okay so let's go ahead let's clarify this hermit card for you guys because it is going to be challenging for you to move into this okay like i said the feeling of guilt 
Um, what is this hermit card about? What do we need to know about it for Scorpio? For the challenge for you guys. There's something that you definitely don't want to see though, right? This two of swords, it's like there's something you're closed off to. So going into that hermit mode of like really introspection is scary. So let's see if we could help you with that. You know, what is this hermit card about? What, are, what does spirit have to say about this? You know? Hmm. Yeah, so we have the, cur to, to clarify the, her the hermit, we have the courage card. So you guys gotta be strong. You know, this is like the strength card in the traditional tarot. Um, you guys, like, I feel like a lot of the Scorpios watching this, you guys are so used to like, just like attacking life, right? Like using a hammer and like hitting the nail of life. You guys gotta, it's almost like you gotta turn the hammer around and instead of using the hammer that, that drives the nail, you gotta use the, the fork, right? You gotta lift the nail out, okay? So you have, to, you have to have courage to move into that different state of going within here, you know? Um, there's something here, it's like you just, you've been living life a certain way for so long that the month of September is bringing out a totally different frequency. And it's gonna be up to you whether or not you wanna clarify that, you know, whether whether you wanna really take advantage of this, this challenge, you know, because challenges represent opportunities as well. Um, let's go ahead also. I feel like the challenge for you guys as well with this page of cups, I feel like there's people around you, maybe it's coworkers who are just like a little bit immature, right? This goes in alignment with this five of swords here where there's just people around you, Scorpio, that um, they pull you into bad habits, right? People have great intentions, this this page of cups for you, but um, I feel like they're just saying like, hey, let's go out and, and let's drink, you know, let's go out. And there's nothing wrong with that, everything in moderation, but I, I do feel like you guys, because of the challenges you're dealing with, you have a tendency to sink into escapism. And so your challenge this month is to kind of refrain from that, okay? And also to listen to the King of Cups, okay? There's someone in your reality who does have wisdom. <clears throat> it's like there's almost someone you know who you can talk to who's gonna help you, right? Who's very loving, maybe it's a parent, maybe it's some sort of coach that you have. Um, and you're almost afraid to hear what they have to say, okay? Um, the King of Cups usually is not a very intimidating energy, but that's just what's coming through there. Let's go ahead and clarify uh, this King of Cups energy for you, Scorpio. Okay, we have the Lover's card popping out as well. So the challenge is there may be someone coming in for you who is a King of Cups, right? Who can regulate your emotions and make you feel at peace, but once again, the very feeling of peace may be a trigger for your own trauma, right? Um, so just sh sh be aware of that. I got chills when I said that as well. What is this King of Cups about? For a lot of you, this does represent a lover, I feel. King of Cups. Yeah, so we have the flowering card to represent the King of Cups here. Um, it's almost like you you know, like there's someone here that may come into your reality that will take you to the next level, but it's not gonna be the same frequency you've been on for so, we just keep going back to this. You guys, you guys have been on a, a mental frequency for so long that anything different, you know, maybe it's someone who's gonna come into your reality and say, you know, let's go out, let's go out and uh, have, you know, avocado toast and, and kombucha. You know, someone also is gonna help you discover like what your purpose is, right? This is like the queen of pentacles in traditional tarot. So it's almost like maybe a provider is coming in for you and you're scared of that. Okay, so just be aware of that. And then finally, Scorpio, let's move on to the messages from your spirit guides. Um, I hate when the video cuts out. It kind of threw me off my flow here, but let's get into it. Okay, so messages from your spirit guides. We have the knight of wands. We have the strength card, and then we have the 10 of wands, okay? So what's coming through with the strength card is just you have to have the courage to, to go within with this hermit card, right? It's gonna be challenging to, to face your own shadow for the rest of September, and you've been in resistance to it, right? There's something you're blocking out. I feel like it has to do with moving away from something, you know, moving away and like calling a spade a spade. Like there's people in your life maybe trying to be deceptive to, towards you. You gotta recognize, you gotta be strong, but once again, the strength card is about, it's all, it's also about, you know, merging your animal nature with your higher self, you know, that's a secret message of this card. So a lot of you guys, you're, you're very in tune with, um, with the, your root chakra, your, your root chakra is pretty much in alignment, I would say, but you got to make room for that crown for that third eye as well. 
Um, you have the Ten of Wands here as well and the Knight of Wands. So what's coming through from your spirit guides is saying like, you know, you, you have, I see, you know, Scorpio, you guys have a ton of sexual energy always. So Scorpio, you, you may be like wanting to go on a journey, like experience the fullness of life. I think spirit is saying like, go for it, you know, go have fun. But first you got to like, it's almost like you're not realizing the benefit of shadow work. You know, when you go in, you do these meditative uh, healing sessions and, and even what we're doing right now, this is shadow work, right? This is a step in shadow work. That's going to make you like when you go out and have fun, it's a world of a difference, right? It really is. Like I can remember when I was in college or when I was doing something that I didn't want to do in life. When I went out, it was like I was trying to escape my reality. Now, when I do what I love every day, I do tarot readings, I do spiritual coaching, I make content. When I go out now, it's of a different quality. I feel like I am the boss of my reality, but not from this like this over identification with the the mental side of life. It's more like I'm living from my heart. So Scorpio, spirit wants you to live from your heart for the rest of September. Okay? And that's going to be a qualitative difference and also just lessen the load, right? With this 10 of this 10 of wands, um, you guys, once again, it's just overthinking, overwork, maybe take a step back, definitely take a step back, but it's going to be challenging to go into that hermit energy. So let's clarify, um, let's clarify this strength card. Okay. What, what does spirit have to say to us, uh, to you, Scorpio, about this strength card? What's coming through? Yeah, so we have the rebel card popping out immediately. Okay, so it is going to take some will. This is about breaking free from any form of limitation. You see the this guy has chains on his feet. He's breaking free. Okay, this is about taking action as well. So it goes in alignment with this knight of wands. But this is like the emperor energy. So the strength card, you know, it is about being graceful. But your spirit guides are saying this is going to take willpower and just doing what society says you can't do. Okay, once again, I'm getting this heavy feeling. You guys are caught up in some sort of matrix. You may be someone who meditates, you may do things, but still it's like there's some level of your life that's just like a hamster wheel, okay? So the rebel is about saying like, who cares what people think about you? You know, if you quit your job, if you say, I'm gonna go out into nature today and your family, friends look at you like, what is that hipster doing? You gotta have the strength to be the rebel, Scorpio, okay? Because there's just, there's like this feeling like there's this whole world of like the yin of life that you guys are having a hard time tapping into. You're very much in the yang right now, the masculine, okay? And that's what this is about as well, like the over-identification with the masculine, the physical world. You guys got to think over things from a different perspective, baby. So let's just give you a final piece of advice from your spirit guides. I'm going to pull one more card for you guys. What should, what energy should Scorpio embody for the rest of September that's going to help them accomplish this goal of going within, looking at their shadow? How can they do this? What energy would be of benefit to them? Let's see what comes out. What is it for Scorpio? What do you guys need to do? Yeah, so we have the moment to moment card, okay? So this is, this is about a new adventure into physical reality, but more so it's about taking, you know, not taking yourself so seriously. The moment to moment card is like, it's it's going, you know, the challenge is go with the water energy. The moment to moment is like, you're like water. I can go over here, I can go over here. Once again, you know, you guys are very much caught up in this mental energy where it's like, if you go over here, you you try to get into the water state for a second, the flow, your mind is like, bad, bad, bad. You can't do that. So it's like this like trauma. So you have to have courage, right? You got the strength card coming out twice in two different decks, guys. So be strong. Definitely merge with your higher self here. And that's really all that had to come through for the Scorpio. So with that being said, I will talk to you guys on the next reading. Hope you're enjoying these. Peace.